perhaps the most significant rocket launch of the last few months may finally be upon us. New updates suggest that SpaceX's Starship will finally take to the skies imminently. After being grounded for several months due to regulatory hurdles by the FAA and the FWS, it seems like the world's largest rocket will finally embark on its second test flight. But how will this historic event unfold? Will it be any different from its first attempt in April? Stay tuned to find out. It has been over six months since we witnessed the inaugural flight of the first complete Starship prototype. While this waiting period may seem relatively short compared to other rocket developments, it feels quite long for many enthusiasts. The anticipation stems not only from the admiration for this colossal rocket, but also from the desire to see improved performance. The first flight of Ship 24 and Booster 7 may not have entirely met our expectations, leading to the recognition that SpaceX needed to refine the Starship flight process. Unfortunately, the April flight did not showcase all the planned steps. However, over the past few months, SpaceX has been diligently working on significant improvements and upgrades. With these enhancements, there is optimism that the next flight will encompass the complete and improved Starship experience that enthusiasts have been eagerly anticipating. The anticipation of hearing the 33 Raptor engines roar to life during the upcoming Starship flight is sure to be exhilarating. However, before liftoff, Starship has to navigate through several crucial steps, especially given the challenges posed by the over a thousand changes SpaceX has implemented. The pre-flight processes commence approximately two hours before liftoff with pole verification and fueling. SpaceX initiates fueling with the booster, followed by the second stage Starship spacecraft. Conducting these fueling processes separately helps manage mass differences and optimizes propellant distribution. Following fueling, SpaceX releases pressure from the propellant tank. This step is essential because during fueling, the propellant warms up, expands and transforms into gas, causing increased pressure. Venting, as this process is known, is crucial to reducing pressure on the propellant tank. Approximately 20 minutes before liftoff, the engines undergo a cooling process. This step is crucial in minimizing the temperature difference between the engine and propellant, preventing potential damage to the engine and ensuring optimal propellant flow and combustion performance. In the past few months, SpaceX has implemented several upgrades to enhance engine performance. The injectors and manifolds have been reinforced to withstand increased pressure and heat, reducing the risk of leaks during energy release. Additionally, a new electric TVC thrust vector control system has been installed, providing more precise control. Igniters have also undergone upgrades to enhance reliability and prevent issues such as failure to activate or stop working addressing concerns from the previous flight. Approximately three seconds before liftoff, the engines will be ignited. A few seconds before this crucial moment, the water deluge system will initiate, marking a significant improvement from the previous flight. This system pumps water from dedicated tanks through pipelines to steel plates, which then disperse the water through small holes, resembling shower heads. This process helps deflect and disperse the fire, effectively reducing the heat and pressure generated by the 33 Raptor engines. Hey, spacers, before you get ready for a journey aboard the Starship, please take a moment to subscribe and hit that bell icon to stay updated on the world of space travel. And now, on to liftoff. As the engines activate, propelling the vehicle off the launch pad, another notable enhancement becomes evident. 
The time between engine activation and the vehicle's departure from the launch mount has been reduced from 10 to 5 seconds. This reduction is instrumental in minimizing the time the launch mount is subjected to substantial heat and pressure from the engines. Coupled with the support of steel plates and the water deluge system, this upgrade aims to prevent significant damage to the launch mount and surrounding infrastructure. Addressing concerns observed in the first flight. After leaving the launch mount, the vehicle will head southeast. About 2 minutes and 39 seconds after liftoff, a crucial step occurs, the separation process. In the previous test in April, the inability to separate was a key reason for intentionally destroying the vehicle. However, this time will be different. Firstly, the booster engines will cut off, showcasing the notable upgrade of the S25 and B9 per the hot staging mechanism. The spacecraft's engines will then activate while still attached to the booster. With this hot staging update, the separation process becomes simpler. The heat and pressure generated by the spacecraft engines will be directed outward through vents, preventing energy accumulation that could potentially damage the engines. Subsequently, the two stages will separate from each other to continue their respective operations. After separating from the Starship spacecraft, which occurs approximately 2 minutes and 53 seconds after liftoff, the booster undergoes a sequence of maneuvers. The central gimbal engines are activated to adjust the booster's direction for a safe landing area in the Gulf of Mexico. About a minute later, these engines shut down. Around three minutes after separation, specifically six minutes and 18 seconds after liftoff, the booster enters the transonic state. About 10 seconds later, the engines are reignited to reduce the falling speed as the booster approaches the ocean's surface. Finally, at approximately 6 minutes and 48 seconds after liftoff, the engines shut down again and the booster safely descends into the sea, completing its mission. As for the upper or second stage, after separating from the booster, it continues to fly into orbit. During this phase, all of its engines remain activated for about 6 minutes at T+. 8 minutes and 33 seconds, the engines on the second stage also shut down, marking a crucial point in the mission. Following its journey in space for over an hour, covering about three quarters of the Earth's circumference, the Starship will enter the lowest orbit area in the atmosphere. At an hour and 17 minutes after liftoff, it will re-enter the atmosphere, initiating a controlled maneuver. The flaps will play a crucial role guiding Starship in a belly flop maneuver to direct the heat shield tiles downward, effectively withstanding the heat generated by friction with the atmosphere. Approximately 11 minutes later, Starship will enter a transonic state akin to the booster. After two minutes in this state, it will splash down into the sea, specifically 100 km northwest of Kauai, an island in the Hawaiian archipelago in the Pacific Ocean. The mission will officially conclude after an hour and 30 minutes. Currently, SpaceX's hopes are twofold. Firstly, that the upcoming processes proceed smoothly and conclude successfully. However, before these events can unfold, there is another hope, the resolution of obstacles preventing the upcoming flight. One notable obstacle is the involvement of the Fish and Wildlife Service Agency a factor absent in previous flights. While SpaceX has traditionally dealt with the FAA, this time they face an additional hurdle with the Fish and Wildlife Services. Fortunately, the FAA has demonstrated faster responsiveness than in previous instances. On September 8th, they concluded the mishap investigation and assessment related to the first orbital test flight. While not an official flight license, this development signifies progress and the overcoming of a significant hurdle. However, the Fish and Wildlife Services is still conducting separate surveys, initially estimating a duration of 35 to 130 days. However, due to pressure from various agencies, 
they have recently expedited their work procedures. As the agency completes its final procedures, there has been considerable speculation regarding the launch date of the next flight. Many sources suggested a potential launch date of November 17th. However, this timeline is contingent on receiving the final approval from the FAA. So spacers, what do you think? Will the FAA finally grant SpaceX the final approval for launching on the 17th? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.